Hey everyone, good morning. Today is November 14th, 2023. Time right now, 9.16 a.m. Eastern Time, 13 minutes till the market opens. And so we had the CPI news and we see this big push up, right? Right? That's so cool to see. Now, what's happened is two things. It's come back into this balance zone from that time from September 5th to September 19th, we had this little bit of a balance zone here, which I marked. We closed the gap, which we were looking at yesterday, right? We closed that gap totally. And the biggest, biggest thing today is if we open here in the next, unless we come back down, is that we have a major, major gap. Guys, this is the kind of gaps <laughs> you very rarely get to see that big of a gap. Now, Gap guidelines are as follows. The larger the gap, the lower the odds of it getting filled. That means, do you, what do you do? You go with the gap, meaning go long in this case. Uh, there's a lot of short covering that is expected, right? So all that's going to fill this up. A lot of traders who've been short, they're trying to cover their short position. So that's the gap guidelines. Now, that doesn't mean, let me put this back up. This is where if it opens and this is the high from yesterday. So that's a big gap. You always measure the gap when it opens, when the market opens from the high of the previous day. Uh, yesterday we had short covering with that P-shape format. Again, if you see that's a P, so that's an indication of short covering. And yep, this is where we are right now. So overnight POC is very, very prominent, but gap, Guidelines override that importance of the POC. That does not mean that the gap cannot close and come back down. It can absolutely can. Also, if you notice, it bounced off from that 4420 level, right? Let's see the other one. See, we've been measuring that level as important level of resistance and support for such a long time. And it bounced off right off from there. So, you know, it. It's still hard, but what if there is any trades I would take is if the gap tries to fill, meaning the market opens here and you, st you start filling the gap, it's trying to fill the gap and the momentum slows down, the tempo slows down, the volume slows down, then you go long, okay? And of course you put your stop as per your risk tolerance again. And this was the gap from the previous sessions which I had left, so we can take that out. It's filled now. So if the gap gets filled in the overnight and the market opens here, so that consider the gap getting filled, okay? I hope that didn't confuse you guys. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, feel free to WhatsApp, I mean, excuse me, uh, send me a message in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. All right, guys, that's it. Go with the gap guidelines. Bigger the gap, lower the odds of it getting filled. Your best trades are when the market opens, it tries to fill the gap. The momentum slows down, the tempo slows down, the volume tapers off, you go with it, okay? You go long. Uh, I had this 100 SMA marked here, it's breached that as well, let's see. Okay, so that's the daily, that's the 100 SMA at 4472, yep, that's gone. 4472, way about that. All right, guys, hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember, guys, trading is not easy. It takes time, patience, uh, uh, screen time more than anything, screen time. It's uh, don't go for all these gurus and everything. I'm not a guru. Don't believe me if, even if I say accidentally that I'm a guru. It's all a lie. <laughs> uh, but it's just with screen time, you'll, you'll feel the market and learn to trade it. And every day is not a tradable day, guys. Be careful of that. Don't think you can trade every day. It's called day trading. That does not mean every day you get a trade. It's when a trade presents itself to you. Now, that's a concept. Again, it's hard to explain, but with experience, with time, you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So, yes, the overnight session does have a prominent POC, but that's, that is important. But the more important thing is the gap. Now, if the if it the odds, I mean the odds are very low, but it can happen, absolutely can happen. If the gap does get start getting filled, then you look at the POC. Now, if that does happen, guys, if the gap does get filled, I'm not saying it's gonna. 
or it cannot right you know but if it does that's really a lot of weakness in the market then okay that would be like major major weakness that's just my take on it okay again everything i say may be false may be wrong you know do your own research on it but uh, hope that there was some help in these videos all right guys take care bye bye